gun Ramos looking like he's got one more good run Sips a little shaky But his heart is still true Oh how that dog loves hunting with me and you Sporting dog adventures run boy run Everything you need is here under the sun the Sporting Dog Adventures podcast is proudly brought to you by Soggy Acres Retrievers. Remember, everyone deserves a soggy dog. Hey, welcome to Sporting Dog Adventures podcast. It is the Youth Duck Weekend in the state of Wisconsin, and I am taking out my son and one of his friends, as well as possibly one other uh, youngster with his dad. It is... A time to take them out and just mentor them, watch them hunt, and a time as a parent or as a person that's going to mentor uh, young people that all of us should really, I guess, engage and all of us should understand the importance of. They're only little ones. I cannot wait to go out and do this hunt with my son. It's my last youth hunt uh, with uh, my three boys. Uh, it brings me back to a story I wanted to talk about, uh, which is a tale from a hunt uh, a while back that we actually filmed for the TV show when we were in our infancy. It was a youth duck hunt that I took my sons Clayton and uh, Cole on, and we had one other boy. I do not remember his name. Actually, two other boys. I don't remember their names, but we went out and we were at Princess Point in Wisconsin. Uh, we had a uh, good friend, John, that, that had an area that he said would be great for the kids. And it was a fun hunt. I think we only shot three or four birds. But the longing memory of it was my son Cole shot a duck. Actually, all the kids shot a duck. And we didn't know who shot it. So we did the the uh, short straw wins the, wins the band because the, the bird was banded. And Cole, in hunting was always my kid that had so much natural talent, but also luck. He, uh, he, he won the band. And to date, it is honestly the only band I have ever had on a waterfall hunt. It, uh, you would think hunting all over North America that I would have had other hunts where we had bands, and it's just never happened. I always say that people that uh, are, are fortunate enough to get bands during hunting are probably the ones that are banding the birds uh, that spring, and they're just lucky. Maybe that's uh, that's hard luck on my, my part, but my goodness, I've seen thousands of birds shot in one band, and of course, my son uh, got that band. Uh, it was a hunt that was one of those days, those autumn days that we dream of, where the water was still a warm temperature because youth season is in September. So our, our weather is pretty warm in Wisconsin, but we had a cold morning. And the fog that was hanging over the water was just so cool. Those, those waterfall days when you're out there and birds are flying by and you can barely see them because they're there and then gone because of the fact that the fog is there. So we would call for birds and they would work and they would fly right by and we weren't fortunate enough to get shots at them but it was just fun to see because of the fact that you had to have your head on a swivel then as we're sitting there the day is warming the sun's burning off the fog and just had those brilliant looks of the sun shining through the fog as we're sitting there much like you're being touched by god while you're out in the field and it is something that all hunters have feel, have felt, and that's one of the things that we go out there and that we do and that we really appreciate. We aren't out there to kill something. Of course, you always want to take game, but it's the ability to spend time with family and friends and the ability to experience nature and to just enjoy it. Enjoy the beauty of what our world is away from cell phones, TVs, and all the electronics that so often cloud our memories and cloud our times that we have together. I, I always think of the fact that when you have dinners, it's always telling everyone, put a phone down because otherwise everyone would sit and look at their phone instead of talk to each other. 
these are the times that we spend out with our friends and family that we get so much enjoyment out of. And having youth seasons and taking the kids out, whether it's your kid or someone, uh, someone else's child, it is something that you're there and it's pure. It is a pure form of hunting. You're not worried about shooting all green heads or shooting a monster buck. You're just out there to help them and teach them. So if you have a youth season coming up like we do in Wisconsin, try to find a kid to take them out. Try to find someone's kid that always has wanted to go hunt. Get other people involved in the sport that we all love because that's our future. It is our future to have these kids out there and to work with them in the field. So this hunt, as the uh, fog started to burn off and you hit that point where you could now see birds, my goodness, did the kids miss. They missed and missed. I think we shot a total of four birds. Uh, we had our dog Rommel, a uh, black leopard, a retriever from the TV show uh, that uh, was retrieving the birds. There were uh, two different times I recall that uh, he went into the cover and because of the fog, I didn't even know where the dog was. He just took his direction and he went and he came back with the birds. I was so proud of the dog, so proud of my kids. Uh, they didn't call at this point. Uh, they, they hadn't yet started practicing, but they were out there and uh, they kept a, uh, uh, kept a low profile. Uh, they were listening to us. They were safe with their guns. We did have to tell them a few times not to look around so much uh, when the birds were coming in because, of course, they were getting spotted by the birds. But it was something that was really enjoyable as the hunt went on. Again, we shot three birds. Uh, the one bird that we shot was only, I think it was a, it was a Drake Mallard uh, that wasn't fully plumed. Uh, we did not get him mounted, but we did get the band. Uh, he He was from Manitowoc is where he's banded, which was about four hours uh, from where we hunted. So he had made a little bit of a trip. But the look on the kids' faces when we saw that band on that bird, and I guess the sad thing is there wasn't four bands, so all four boys could have a band. Again, we did the, we did the I think instead of a straw, we used a short uh, piece of cattail. So we had four piece, three pieces of cattail that were the same length and one that was short. Um, again, Cole took that cattail. Uh, he got it. He was so proud of that band. I, I still remember to this day when he would ask me, Dad, you have that band still, right? Because he was very, he was a little ego driven. He was, he was proud to, to kind of rub it in people's faces that he had a band. And he's like, you know, I'm going to do something great with that band. And it was something that the band uh, was in the gun safe. I always made sure he knew where it was safe. I even showed him where it was so that he entrusted me with that band. But uh, it, was, it was just a fun day. The pictures of the kids after the hunt with their beaming smiles, I still have. We used them as marketing photos. Uh, the guys that we hunted with, having them out there, one was another father. One was just, uh, again, John uh, was out there, and he just was a, a guy that just wanted to take kids out. Uh, his kids weren't old enough at this point. I don't even know if he had kids, but he helped us out and took us out there. What a fun day. If you get a chance, take the kids out. If you're in Wisconsin this weekend, find a kid, go out. It's not about how many birds you're going to get. In the area we're going hunting, the water's really high. I don't know how many birds we're going to get, but it's your chance to imprint on them the beauty of nature, the wonders of our world, and the, and the fun of hunting. So I really hope that you guys get a chance to uh, get out for youth season. As far as the band goes, uh, the band is now around my neck. Um... I didn't want to bring this up on a podcast, but you know what? I feel like it's something that's needed to be talked about. We lost Cole. We had lost my son Cole in April of uh, 2019. It was also important to bring this up because it is uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. Take the time with your kids to talk to them. Tomorrow's never promised. As a father, it's taken me <laughs> about five attempts to put this on a podcast. But it's something that uh, we need to talk about and need to talk about with our kids because you do not want to live with regret. 
or having the pain of not having spent time with your kids. So take those few extra minutes, get your kids out in the blind, enjoy them. Um, again, my last few season with Callahan um, should be fun. I think we're going to probably try hunting mornings and afternoons. we got two different properties. Um, I just can't wait to get them in the field. Hope you guys do as well. Take care and God bless. This part of the podcast is brought to you proudly by Mech Outdoors. For the last part of this podcast, we're going to talk about the importance of training your dog. And one of the things that you can do is in the thought process of taking youth out hunting, have your kids run your dog. Give them ground rules so that they understand what they need to do uh, with the dogs when they're out running. Um, being a dog trainer, <laughs> I, was, I had Cal out this summer and I was teaching him to run dogs and I yelled at him for something and I thought, why would he know that? Even though he watches me, they're kids. They aren't paying attention to exactly how you do things when you're handling a dog out in the field. So I had to step back and think, okay, I need to walk him through like he is a client, step by step on what he needs to do as far as healing the dog, releasing the dog. Um, and then the thing that we ran into is he he uh, was flash casting, which is where you're throwing your hands up really fast on a blind retrieve and, the dog, and not giving the dog the uh, command at the same time. And it leads to where the dog was anticipating what he was going to do and falling apart. So again, take your kids out, have them run the dogs because it is something that is good for the dog. It's always good for dogs to have other people that run them at times. You can have your friends do it too, but it's more fun if you can have your kids do it. Get them out there, have other people run them so that they are successful and so that they uh, uh, run well for anyone in the field. And that will really help you in the future of your dog's development. I'm going to have one last hunting tip coming up right after this. This portion of the podcast is proudly brought to you by Boucher Automotive in Janesville, Wisconsin. On today's hunting tip, thinking back to that youth hunt that we're still on, remember to not have everyone looking for the birds when the birds are coming in. If you don't have a roof on your blind or and it's not cameled up or you're sitting in a boat or even on a mud seat, Try to make sure that everyone understands that slow and deliberate wins the race. If you don't have a lot of cover, you want to put face paint on. The fact of looking up at a bird, your face shines like a beacon. Uh, during teal season, I had my kids out and we went down to recover a bird. I told them, keep the blind doors up. They did not. I watched birds go down and flare horribly uh, when they got to them. And I looked down and it literally looked like there were three big light bulbs in the blind, which was their faces. So try to make sure that you don't have too much head movement. Try to make sure that you're keeping your face down uh, so that it's not shining with the sun on it uh, where the birds will see it and you'll have a lot more success. That's it for this week's show. Again, sorry for getting somewhat emotional, but I really do hope that you take this time especially with it being Mental Health Awareness Month. Get your kids out, talk to them. Make sure they're healthy and talk to them, not like a parent, but at this point, you got to be their friend and just talk to them about what's going on with them and help them out. God bless everyone. Sporting Dog Adventures Run